There are times where you want to capture moments that happen for an extended period of time. This can be cars passing by, the sun rising or setting, long walks or rides or just like flowers blooming. GoPro Time Lapse and GoPro Time Warp let you do just that. But what's the difference between GoPro Time Lapse and GoPro Time Warp? Let's find it out in this video. Hey, I'm Andy, filmmaker and author of Project GoPro, my online training school where I help people make better videos with action cameras like GoPro. You find the link down in the description and I also left a link where you can do download my free GoPro settings cheat sheet that has already helped hundreds of people uh, getting started with GoPro. GoPro time lapse. GoPro time lapse is a technique through which still photos taken by GoPro at intervals or over a long period of time, let's say, uh, then later on they are played back at an increased speed to create an appealing movie for the viewer. With time lapse you can easily reduce and convert the long time into a short nice video compact video of things like you know clouds that move quite slow um, in a, just a few seconds in addition to this there is another way to create beautiful time-lapse videos you can do it by taking a series of photos at a regular intervals and then arrange them together manually in a proper sequence to make out a video gopro offers three time-lapse modes Time-lapse video, time-lapse photo, and night-lapse photo. Let's have a look at them. Time-lapse video. GoPro time-lapse video mode is a great option to record footage for a long duration of time. It creates the output time-lapse file in video format, and with this mode, you can shoot long videos and create high-quality output files without requiring post-production work in most cases. But you'll have to give up mm, some of the manual controls if you use this setting, because Protune is not available in time-lapse uh, video mode. Time-lapse photo. The GoPro's time-lapse photo mode is a simple way to create amazing time-lapses. The camera captures images at a specific interval, for example, every, I don't know, five seconds, and outputs images in two formats, either JPEG or RAW format. So once you download your photos from the GoPro uh, and combine them together in post-production, you'll have an epic time-lapse video that will impress your viewers. The image below shows how a number of photos captured at a set time interval within the span of a full day creates a wonderful time-lapse. Night lapse photo. GoPro night lapse photo mode is a technique used to create a time lapse in low light or like nighttime conditions. When night lapse mode is on, GoPro allows for a longer exposure time to capture clearer shots when there isn't much light around you. Depending on how lit your surroundings are at a, you know, any given moment, a user can choose different shutter speeds. Lower lighting environments uh, usually need higher exposures so that more details are captured from the darkness. Brighter areas like city skylines under street lights would be easier to capture since you know they they are lit by artificial sources such as lamps and windows. However, if you're not so sure, just you know set shutter speed to auto and let your GoPro decide. GoPro Time Warp. Time Warp is basically, you know, hyper smooth, so the digital stabilization of your GoPro applied to time-lapse video uh, and it works like magic. GoPro Time Warp can make your video smooth and shake free, allowing you to move around. You also get the option of increasing the speed up to 30 times, which lets you turn longer activities like hiking or biking rides into shareable moments with just one click. The Time Warp feature though is only available on the latest GoPro cameras, like I think starting from the Hero 7 and above. Time Warp can turn a monotonous road trip, recap or just a simple walk into a much more engaging experience. When you play it back in real time, the footage would probably seem a little bit boring to you. However, if you speed it up by two times, five times, 10 times, or even 30 times and pair it with GoPro's hyper smooth video stabilization feature, then it's possible that this kind of 
content will be both an entertaining and easy to your eyes, like, you know, better to see. Resolutions and aspect ratio available with GoPro Time Warp. While I recommend 4K resolution for achieving the highest quality possible with Time Warp footage, um, you can select any, any one of the following resolution or aspect ratio as per your preference. So you've got 4K, which has a 16 by 9 as aspect ratio, 2.7K, it's on 4 third. Then you've got 1440, which is also on the 4 third aspect ratio, and then the standard 1080p um, on 16 by 9. Time warp video speed. As default, the speed of the time warp is set to 10x, as this speed setting provides the best results in most cases, I would say. But GoPro provides a good amount of customization for users when it comes for speed selection uh, for time warp videos. You can increase the video speeds by 2, 5, 10, 15 or 30 times. And by the way, in this other video, I give five tips for shooting epic time warp videos. Go and check it out. So we're almost done. Let's now take a look at the recommended speed or intervals that you should set. This depends upon the activity you're shooting, of course. Here are the speed recommendations to create quality time warp video for different activities. If you're diving through a nice route, like very scenic route, I would suggest you to choose between 2 times 2x and 5x. While for hiking and exploring, so like walking, you know, slow speed, then I would suggest you to select a 10x speed. While if you're running or, you know, riding a mountain bike, then 15x to 30x would work well difference between GoPro Time Lapse and GoPro Time Warp. So what's the difference between these two modes? Generally, Time Warp videos are stabilized. They should be used when you want to capture a hyperlapse with your camera while moving. Time Warp is for longer moving videos. It is useful for activities like skiing, mot motorcycling, snowboarding, etc. GoPro time lapse should be used for stationary videos such as those taken on a tripod or while shooting a sunset. So ult ultimately choose the settings that most fit what you need to shoot. And remember that the field of view or FOV of time lapse is a little bit wider when compared to time warp. This is because stabilization uh, crops a bit of, you know, the field of view. All right, I really hope that you find this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel uh, and activate the notification bells so you'll be notified when a new videos come out. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned and I'll see you soon.